Are your teenagers' social media posts seeming a little more desperate than usual? Let's talk about that today on Tips on Teens. My name is Kent Toussaint. I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist, and I specialize in helping kids, teens, and families live happier lives. I lead two organizations, the group Private Practice Teen Therapy Center and the nonprofit organization Child and Teen Counseling, both here in Woodland Hills, California. Every Wednesday at noon, I join you on Facebook Live and I answer your parenting questions. And let's jump into today's question. My teenage daughter is committed to posting at a certain time. It doesn't happen daily, but when she commits to it, the sense of urgency of getting the right picture taken and edited in time for the post is high. Also, it's never just one picture. There has to be at least two, given the infrequency of the post and the limited number of posts on the account. An extra effort is made to make sure that the picture she posts includes as much of everything as possible. Meaning, if the teen has seen other teens' posts, wear nice shoes or a nice purse or a nice background and lighting are included, not all in one picture, by the way, this teen makes sure that in her post, she's including all those things and makes the picture not seem natural. In my eyes, the picture looks like a desperate effort to gain validation about so many things. Fancy shoes, designer purse, vacation background, skin smoothing editing, sex appeal. When I ask my teen what message she is trying to convey or mention that the photo doesn't seem natural and instead looks a lot like a lot of effort, I am met with accusations that I am body shaming, that I don't ever approve of any picture, and that other kids are posting the same. And I am sent pics of her sobbing after an obvious tantrum. Now, it's easy for me to say, I don't approve. You may not post it. We will discuss tonight. To which she replies, fine, but it has to be before 6.30, her posting time. How do I get my message across to help my kid not look so desperate? So... I think the reason why your daughter seems so desperate is because she feels desperate. I'm assuming she's desperate for attention, validation. She's not feeling secure in herself. Why? Could be a thousand different reasons why. Uh, sounds like she's heavily influenced by social media influencers, Instagram models who always seem like they're perfect. They always have the latest fashion. They're always in the vacation. They always have this, the the editing, so there's their skin's always smooth. Uh, and so, yeah, they do, you know, Instagram models do not look natural. They look like Instagram models, which is different than what people look like usually. Um, the problem is a teenager, 14, 16, wherever old this daughter is, um, doesn't recognize that it's, it's theater, that these models are theater, they're putting on a show. And there are a lot of teenagers who try to idealize or idolize this and try to embody that and try to compare because they feel that since they can't find their own sense of internal validation, they're going to try to emulate what they idolize. Again, pick whatever Instagram model you want. There's several of them, uh, but they all kind of have the same thing. It's all about flexing how much money they have, how glamorous they are, how aristocratic they are. Um, and if there's drama, then there's drama, but there's there's always drama with another celebrity, which, you know, just adds more. It's a soap opera, basically. Um, and again, your teenager doesn't really understand the difference between the theater of it and the reality. So my hunch is this young lady is trying to embody what she thinks will help her feel secure and validated, which it never will. It's an empty hole. Uh, it's like always trying to have validation for how you look. It, it, it's, it's hollow. What's really going to help her is finding the validation inside, knowing that she is a good enough person, not because of how she looks or what handbag she's wearing, but because the quality of her character and the quality of the relationship she has in her life. Um, it's hard for a teenager to grasp. Many adults have our time with that still. Um, but hopefully, um, she, you know, she may need to talk to someone. It may be possible that helping her talk to someone, get through this, to having a deeper understanding of this would help. You know, also, you know, what is the environment in the house? Is there an environment of, you know, flexing? You know, is there an environment of comparing yourself to the, you know, the, the next door neighbors and who has more money, who has the nicer car, who has the nicer hair? Um, these are things are all to be aware of. And we may do it without even realizing we're doing it, but we can do it as parents sometimes. We can 
we can influence negatively, inadvertently, our children to start judging themselves and comparing. And it's almost always the negative. They're never good enough because they don't feel good enough. So it's helping your kids feel good enough and accepting your kids wholeheartedly. You could try to legislate what your kid posts online. It's, she's just gonna find a, a, a fake Instagram account and post there. Um, why they wanna post at certain times, could be a lot of different reasons. You know, when you go to Instagram and you have like the three columns of all the posts you've done, certain people will make certain patterns, you know, pictures. So they have to post at certain times to make sure the, like Teen Therapy Center's Instagram is the same way. We have, you know, three posts a week and it's all a nice, neat columns. It looks neat and tidy. And some people, it's very important for that. Um, also, they may, their friends may be posting around the same times. There are also certain you know, legends and, and rumors that if you post at certain times, you get better responses and better likes. Um, if your daughter is only looking, is really balancing or, or what's the word I'm looking for? Measuring her self-worth based on how many likes she gets. You know, you can understand why this is what she's doing. I'm not saying it's healthy, um, but this is her point of view. So I would talk to her less about the pictures she's posting and more about her self-worth and how she defines her self-worth. Um, because Instagram is never going to be a, a, a significant or sustained way to have self-worth. It's fleeting. Um, anyways, it's a big topic. Thank you for your question. If you'd like more questions or more answers about this, uh, contact us anytime. Uh, if you would like to, us to answer your question next week or a week after that, uh, please email your questions to tipsonteens at teen therapycenter.com or you can direct message us right here on Facebook. We love hearing your questions. Keep them coming. Again, my name is Kent Toussaint with Teen Therapy Center and Challenging Counseling and we'll see you guys. Actually, we'll take next week off but we'll be back in two weeks. Two weeks with Tips on Teens. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.